Good work, guys. It's August 20th. Open day of deer season. Better get ready. Get out there. Try to do some damage. Again, like I said, I'm not gonna be picky this year. I'm gonna try my best not to be picky. And uh, whatever comes my way, uh, well, hopefully you put it down. <laughs> Get ready real quick. I'm already all ready. Got my shoes on. I'll see you guys out there. Thank <laughs> you. 
seen so many things today. This is awesome. <laughs> so much of the fuck down today. It's looking good, man. It's looking really good. I'm back at the Crazy Cross. Something chasing right in front of me. There's a little buck. It's a little buck in the dough. That one's got little tiny bits of velvet. Freaked me out a little bit actually. It's got velvet. It's a little buck. tracks and a bear droppings and then I started following a bear trail and I could see his path and his, uh, his balls just kind of like all over it so this is a bear trail which I'm not too stoked about but I have a bear tag and I got my buck tag so I'm gonna keep going I just want to give you guys an update on my way here though I did run into a buck a forky healthy forky on the side of the road but I'm not about drive by him too I like the bear chase so I let him walk I'm just gonna go and try to find a spot to sit for a little bit take a break because I'm hot I need a I got breakfast so yeah I gotta wanna get in sit and I'll just chillax for a little bit let everything kinda settle and then I'll start out too Alright guys, it's lunch time. I'm actually pretty tired. Decided to stop, cook me up some food, got the uh, jet fryer going. I actually already made it. And so I packed two of these and uh, unfortunately I only packed one tuna. So mix that in right now. So it's beginning to look like I might have to stay out and camp up here. Because um not seeing any mature bucks. <laughs> I know I said I was gonna shoot the uh, first legal buck that I saw but I don't know. I see them and I'm just like if there's bucks like that here there's gotta be a class like a good class buck here. So I was like, I think I'll wait. I got another day. I mean, like I said, I came down here with the baby tent. So another day won't hurt. 
I'll just sit for another day. It's a little creepy here down here sometimes when you're deep down here by yourself. Because, um, what should we call it? You start hearing noises. Like the wind will blow and then you'll hear something go, and you're like, what is that? It's <laughs> like, what the heck is going on? The wind's finally picking up. I'm just chilling in the shade for a little bit and then I will continue hunting. This thing's not that heavy, guys. It looks like it's a big old thing, but all this goes into the, the thing, into the uh, pot. So. And uh, I don't know if you guys notice, but every time I'm out here, I'm, I'm always like, I'm always looking around because I. I now, it has never happened to me where I'm eating or I'm hanging out and then a bear just pops out. I've, I've had coyotes do that. I've had bobcats do that. They would have bears in my line just pop out on the wall eating. But I've seen plenty of videos where it happens to people. So I'm always on edge. I'm always looking around like, is there anything? Is there anything? I just want to be sure I'm okay. But yeah, I've seen plenty of bucks today. Uh... I lost count, but I know I recorded a bunch of them, so I'll just let you guys do the uh, buck count for me. I think if I see um, any three point, I'll shoot any three point. Whether it's a uh, one by three, I don't know if those exist, but you know they might. Whether it's a one by three, two by three, or you know anything like that, I, I think I'll shoot it. As long as it's a three point, I think I'll take them. But I kind of want to shoot something that's at least a three-year-old or older. I am not going to lie. I'm pretty burnt. I'm pretty tired. I haven't done a hike like this in a long time. And it's killing my butt. <laughs> you know, the biggest thing that worries me about coming down like this is ticks because I know guys like I, I, I mentioned a lot about ticks I'm, I'm terrified of ticks because you know you don't see them they climb on you and um, <clears throat> there's a lot of manzanitas down here and uh, the manzanita tree is nicknamed the tick tree so there's a ton of manzanita around me so I'm kind of like there's one right behind me there's a bunch right here there's a big old patch right on that little hill right there No way. It cannot be a buck. No way. I think I see antlers, guys. I'm freaking here making all kinds of racket. There's a freaking buck right there. <laughs> He's just a little forky. No, not forky. Little fork, uh, fork spot, fork corn. So hidden, he's just right there.
Holy crap. <laughs> I'm ready to go and put my hands on him. I don't even know if he's a buck I'm hunting, but he's an old buck. He's a big buck. There you go. <laughs> so with the weight, I had a feeling there was gonna be another buck with it. I took a uh, where I was standing. I couldn't take the shot because there's a man in Zanita blocking it. So I had to go more to the right. Because of that, I had to take a quartering away shot. Uh, not quartering, a quartering two. Not not very deep. Uh, I think I think it probably hit pretty close to where the exit wound is here on the back side so there you go guys got me my nice three by three he uh broke and he's starting to rub off a little bit i don't know if that's from crashing down but there you go it looks like he's pumping blood like crazy so i don't know how he lasts so long but yeah there's my three by three uh we're in the sun now i'm gonna move him under this cedar and uh I'm gonna start processing him. I see a thicker pasture down, down right there. I might go all the way there so I'm completely shaded. This thing isn't too shaded, so I want to be completely shaded. That's one whole, or that's half of one deer. I'm tired to record and carry this, so I'm just gonna turn the camera off. I'm just gonna hike you guys. I'll see you guys back at camp. <laughs> so my buddy shot this guy. The man right there, Eugene. He shot this guy. He's a uh, forky. Nice young little forky. He's got beautiful antlers man his antlers look so nice compared to mine's my antlers look like crap oh you can feel his eye guard he has eye guard yeah right there he has eye guard long pretty small yep one side but yeah watch you guys compare this to mine all right you see how smooth and velvety that is here's mine <laughs> it's all like bashed and beat both sides that's because he was bashing on the tree. But yeah, but you can just look at the head difference. Even if I went from this side, you can see the head difference. My buck head is just way bigger. <laughs> but that's the difference between mature bucks, guys, I guess you could say. But yeah, uh, I'm finally back at camp. 
the beast. She made it back. And uh, we unloaded, they actually unloaded their meat very nicely. Cause uh, I set him up on a blind. I'll show you guys the blind tomorrow. I set him up on a blind, so he shot his only a few hundred yards from the road. So he was able to get his really clean. But we're about to eat the back strap off my buck. That's my buck. Cause his still has both of them. But we're gonna eat the back strap off my buck. And yeah, feels good to have company at camp, guys. Last night I was pretty lonely. My campsite's up there. So I had a blast today, guys. If the big buck hadn't moved, I never would've known it was there. Cause I didn't see it. And then when I went back and looked at my camera, my video, I was like, oh, he was there the whole time. I just never knew it. Um, we're actually gonna make some steak and eat it. So I'll see you guys at dinner. I was way too tired, guys. I totally forgot to show you guys. It's already off the grill. It's the back strap. <laughs> yep. Hard earned. Huh? What the heck are you doing? Oh, huh? These are some scrap meat he's gonna try to dry out. Jerky. Yeah, he's gonna jerky it. Uh, he's not gonna jerky it. That's just straight up cooking it. That's too low. He needs to put it up higher. If he wants to drink it, he's gotta do this. No, nah, that's still too low. I'm actually really hungry. Let's uh let's bless the land, thank them for the deer, and uh call them in and then we'll eat. Alright guys. It's what I've been hunting for. My mouth is watering. Mm. Oh my gosh. Ooh, I almost fainted, guys. <laughs> I'm not even lying. Like, I almost blacked out just now. That tastes so dang good. Yeah, I know, I get it. People don't like fresh off the bone. Me, I love it. It's so good. All right, I'm I thought I was gonna come to camp and be man of the hour. God, it's buck meat. These guys already got one. <laughs> Just to, it goes to show. This is so good. Totally worth the sub the seven mile hike. So good. You know, he's actually very tender, even though he's kind of old. I don't know how old he is, cause I never know how old old. I never know how to age velvet bucks because during the summer, they are, they all look similar. I mean. The neck hasn't grown up yet. But you can tell, and the only thing I can tell is that the forky is clearly younger. Just because of the head size, it's just so small. But I don't know how to age bucks when they're in velvet. And the reason why I've never seen this buck is because I've never gone down there. I've always wanted to go down there. Last year, I never went down to the bottom because I was very afraid of the bears. I knew of two cubbing moms down there, so I didn't want to go bother them. So this year, instead of going from, from the side that I went last year, I went around to the other side and I went in from the back side. And it was awesome. I had a blast. <coughs> He's cutting deer meat and I just cannot wait. I was so hungry. This is much needed calories. This is so good. <coughs> That's my rice. I'm supposed to be eating rice. But the main course is too damn good. Mm. One more tag. We're still hunting tomorrow. I'm sp I was, I had planned to stay here until Thursday. Didn't expect to tag out on day one, so. By the way, yeah, 
it's still opening day of archery season guys good luck to everybody that's out there and congratulations to everybody out there including myself that's tagged on bucks and my buddy here i don't know how hard it is to uh, tag on bucks <laughs>